Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on. Once again, we have the event featuring the brand new character, Onslaught. He's a five star. The introducing Onslaught is a, basically letting us have a run through and a really cool set of uh, story battles that uh, we'll take in different teams using him and against him. A lot of you guys have gotten into it so far. Let me know what you think about this character in the comments, and we are going to jump into the action in just a little bit. We're going to start with the Crash of the Titans today. We're going to do a bunch of tokens, add in those character levels, and then we'll come back and get in the action with Onslaught. And we also have a surprise toward the end, so uh, be ready for that. I think uh, some of you will be uh, pretty interested in to see what that is going to be. So let's jump in right now to the crash. We have to take on Ragnarok using four star Thor. This is going to be, uh, I think, a pretty good one. Let's take off our boosts here. Gee, there we go. Okay. Put our character effects back on, and here we go. So this is an interesting battle because we are going to be competing for red and blue AP quite a bit. They are uh, important colors for both of us. He has a stronger green. His main damage dealing ability is green. And we have a yellow ability that is more focused on team damage and can do some special tile removal. And uh, I think all we really need to worry about here... Um, you know what, I'm going to let him get that match for in black so that I get the red for sure. So we just need to keep him away from blue. We'll be able to get a stun. And it's a really good one because it's not just a stun. It also adds charged tiles to the board. And with, with the charged tiles, it adds to the damage you get from Thor's red ability and... Uh, her smite is a very strong ability. Let's go this way. We get a couple of reds. Look at that. We already have eight red, almost up to the point where we have the ten. So his blue isn't very dangerous. Let's. Uh, there's a couple ways to match blue, but let's guarantee we have our red ready to go. Yep. Big surprise. He went for the blue there, and blue does allow him to heal, and it also will charge the green tiles up because his, his green's a little bit expensive and um, I think it should do a little more damage than it does but um, it also it's a lot like three star and two star Thor's green except for it does less damage and it destroys a random column so the point there is you can get some uh, cascade action perhaps when you play it it doesn't usually seem to do that well for me and I, I like Ragnarok's red ability. It's uh, inexpensive, it's uh, quick cheap damage, and it puts blue tiles on the board to help feed his blue ability up. So we have almost uh, everything we need here. I don't know that we're gonna go for yellow, but I do wanna get the stun, so we'll see if we can get a blue match up here. He has seven blue, one more match, and he will be able to heal. But we've got this really nice red and blue combo. That's going to set us up for the win, I think. All right, so, okay, let's do this. We'll go, we'll go ahead and play Power Surge. It's a three-turn stun, so that's really nice to have all these extra uh, opportunities to make moves while he's stunned. And we have a shot to get yellow, so let's go for it. Okay, so if he had any uh, strike, attack, or protect tiles on the board, the uh, striking distance, it does team damage. Not a whole lot, but it's uh, built for removing enemy special tiles. And if you have that at cover level 5, it'll actually remove countdowns as well. A lot of people forget about that. Um, but I almost always run it at level 3 because it sets up the huge damage from, spot, from smite. There's uh, not a whole lot of charge tiles on the board. Sometimes you can get a lot more. We could let him play his blue to add green charge tiles to add even more potential damage, but we get the win. 
and it's over. I didn't want that to take too long. We've got a lot of nodes to go through in the introducing onslaught special feature event. So we'll get this legendary recruit token and run to the rest of our tokens for the day. So I think we'll keep saving tacos for a little while. The hunt is the story mode event that's opening up after we finish Unstable ISO 8. Thought we'd take a one shot there toward that Karnak cover. He is boosted for the event. I can't wait to get him played quite a bit. We could also get a Craven and a Talos from that store vault. And so with this crash done, we have Gwenpool coming up in a couple of days. Looking forward to that one big time. A couple of leftover tokens from the Wiccan event. Got a gold and vision. How appropriate to get that as a three star. Let's go to weapon Tex-Mex. That versus event just ended up overnight last night and got some shards for this guy from that event for placement. Relentless Onslaught. This is the store where you can have a really tough odds, but it is possible to get a cover for the five star onslaught from here. We've got nine draws, plus we'll do a, a daily. Well, we did get a four star. That's really, uh, really awesome, guys. Let's count this one down to three, two, one. It is Human Torch. Excellent hit there. Probably get all two stars except for maybe a three. Oh man. Oh no. Another four star. Okay. Go. It's Kingpin. Very interesting because he is also my target hero right now. Building up toward five star Daredevil shards. Oh, what is going on with this store? Did you guys have any kind of good luck as well? There's Nebula. That's three four stars from nine tokens so far that's ridiculous very crazy odds at one and 13 using up my luck here thanks to the viewer luck you guys bring in and it looks like we're going to run out on twos with one last chance there it is wow okay running hot we will do a lot more draws from other areas including uh, about 14 mighty tokens today so hopefully we can keep running really well let's go into the elites here there's a kamala beast and thor cap and she hulk what is with the luck today i don't know let's Keep it going here in the heroics. We've got 14. That's a decent chance at a four star. No guarantee. Maybe we'll run 14 two stars in a row here. Oh, there's gold and Deadpool. He is also my target hero. And we got a four star once again. Let's count this one down in three, two, one. Ironheart. Very nice. The upper level for her. More gold with the hood. Squirrel girl. Falcon and more gold with more Kamala. And the last two draws from Heroics are two stars. Okay, here we go, Mighty Tokens. This will be the last draw set for today, and then we'll level up all of these characters. We've got 23, we'll draw 14, leaving nine. See if we can get any more four stars. There's one, and it's Shuri. Got her red cover. Perfect. I just re-rostered her to rebuild, so any cover helps. A lot of three stars in our rewards queue on top of all of these great pulls we're doing. I 
Can we get another four star before we're out of mighties? There it is. You guys pulled it in once again and hit it with a Sandman. Very nice. Three more draws. Another four. This is just so unfair. I hope you guys have good luck as well. A Carnage. He's getting up there in levels. Three Star Hulk and some kind of bonus shards. I I need that claim button to move when the bonus shards hit. Oh, I don't know who it was. Maybe we'll see here after another four with Valkyrie leading up toward Gladiator Thor shards. Can you guys tell what I would have gotten? Probably Deadpool. I haven't been watching the numbers, but if it was Kingpin, I would love to know. All right, that's it for the Mighty Tokens. And we're up to 18 latest legend tokens plus 2200 command points stacking up really nice. And I just got enough shards from PVE to take Hulk to his 13th cover total. And he can be champed. We're not going to champ Hulk um, anytime soon. I want to run him through PVE a couple more times to make sure uh, that he doesn't you know, get too high a level and, and tank too many colors over others so we're going to add in our rewards here and then we'll go into the introducing onslaught special feature we've got a bunch of twos here i'll burn through those as quickly as possible i want to get these tokens and rewards earned back aries as maxed out a bunch of shards for a whole lot of shards for bullseye there and a bag man at the bottom 111 on my fourth bag man and that's it except for moonstone let's go to the three stars what do we have for threes that is a lot let's go through these as quickly as possible magneto hits the 257 level for a legendary patch with x-force wolverine shards we'll see him in action soon there was a totally awesome hulk the full cover at level 183 from hulk there very nice mighty token what's it 223 yep big charge for war machine coming up three star rocket and groot i just re-recruited them or i need to 227 lt from iron man spidey's in a good position here he is able to be champed up next time we do that for our duplicates Probably not for a little while. Torch takes some levels. We got a few Kamala there. Real nice levels from Falcon with the 15 command points. Hood and... Deadpool with domino shards and more. X-Force Deadpool shards coming up next. Cap with some command points. I actually took a, a little break in the commentary. How about that, guys? I did it for once. <laughs> All right, let's look at the four stars. 
that is a bunch now there's a, a few on here that i need to re-roster so we'll work on that but we'll we have a whole lot to add levels to totally awesome hulk it's 364 for the big jump in command points very nice valkyrie more cp at 352 and you see she has shards for thor coming up soon enough carnage with the level 353 Sandman, train Shuri to level two in red on the rebuild. Need some blue, but we'll hold on to those shards just in case blue runs lower than the others. 358 for Ironheart. Let's go to Nebula here with the LT to hit 320. Can't believe how well we ran on some force today. There's a hundred shards for Daredevil. And we have more coming up on Kingpin, so we'll keep that target on him for a little while. Let Karnak have a break. Hammond with some CP. Mockingbird, Spider-Woman. 350's next for her. Miles with the 5-star Kingpin shards. Hero points and more Kingpin. That could mean a five-star level up. We'll see here in a little bit. And we have our little surprise coming up too at the end of these uh, character levels, guys. We'll see what I mean when we get there. Reveal that here really soon. Charge for rescue. Hulkbuster getting up to 359 with more Pepper coming up soon. Mysterio. Cyclops at 367, 25 command points is his next reward. Lockjaw and Wiccan levels up to 325. That's it for the four star levels, but guys, we have a little surprise coming up. Let's do that right after our shards. We'll go through the characters that can take some shard levels. And let's see, it looks like we'll go to getting to be too many that I'm waiting on. Where is, uh, let's see, he's got, nope, just one and a half shards there. We'll just do it this way. Bullseye, X-Force Wolverine with the level up and 250 shards for Old Man Logan. Nice indeed. We have a, a level on Old Man Logan because of those shards, and that leads into a legendary at 459. Awesome. We have Kingpin with another nice level, getting those LTs built up nice. He's at 459 now, and rescue. 461 with the 25 CP to move up. Awesome. Okay, so here is our little surprise, guys. As we're prepared to go through introducing Onslaught, we'll play these uh, five different battles. Some will be fast, some will take a little bit longer on. But uh, I have to tell you, the developers were really nice, and um, at least the promotions team of the game reached out after um, I touched base with them about the YouTube channel and stuff like that and thanks to you guys supporting me they have in turn decided to uh, offer three covers as an evaluation on the brand new five-star character onslaught so this is a nice surprise hopefully you guys think this is pretty cool um, don't get overly excited. I do think that once I get Onslaught covers myself, I have to kind of give these back or whatever just to make it uh, so that I got these early for an evaluation to uh, be a promoter and get the word out for you guys. But I was really excited that they said, that, yep, we'll do it for you. So let's get this guy rostered and go for it. So um, I have to sell probably, I think, this Deadpool to make up for it. Don't worry, the costume will stick with the other iteration of Deadpool that I have. And let's get Onslaught on the roster. There we go. I like to um, 
take a quick screen cap sometimes of the uh, well, first time I roster a character. So didn't earn it outside of um, having you guys show me the support. And in turn, we are all supporting the game overall. So there it is. We have Onslaught rostered with one level in each power and we can level him up so let's do that we've got uh, 89,000 plus to take him up to level 300 cool so we'll try to play my version of this character in the introducing event let's go for it we'll also play the one that they provide to us these battles should be really pretty fun I like the layout here and it's uh, you know very much like going through a storyboard uh, through the comics or whatever we can't really see these some people have made suggestions i wish we could kind of pop those up and see the text or whatever of the uh, panels that we're looking at here but it's more for display let's jump in and check out the first battle onslaughts genesis so during a vicious battle professor x lost control and shut down magneto's mind the ensuing outburst of hatred created onslaught a a psionic entity unlike any other so we have to take on magneto with professor x this is basically the battle that uh, started the process to create onslaught i like the idea it's kind of a cool i haven't read the actual story but i just know a little bit about the onslaught character in general we will play uh we can choose our own professor x i've got a five star that lets you borrow a um, five-star character at level 255 or the four-star so let's see if we can win here with the four-star professor x we have a little bit of an advantage in health but we um, really don't get a whole lot of help from we don't have any teammates to help us in this one and teammates are really important to four-star professor x because of his passive abilities of uh creating and then increasing your special tiles when an ally fires a power. So since we don't have any allies here, we're going to be, need to be real careful about keeping Magneto away from red, yellow, and blue and getting purple. There we go. We just gave him a bunch of our purple. He has to take a match for. But what I want to try to do is see, can we get an extra move lined up here? And if we do... We will qualify for our other passive, which is really quite awesome. I'm sure you've seen it before, but it's a fun animation to see. Uh, let's go for blue here. Get good match damage from blue as one of our colors. He's getting lucky and taking away all of our purple. There we go. We had to get lucky also. So he's close to playing his yellow and then purple also his red his red will destroy all team up tiles on the board and uh, could set him up for some other matches now think about that ability i think a lot of you guys have kind of noticed how onslaught was designed and he's got some really good similarities to these guys so the two you're seeing here makes a uh, story a lot of sense from the story about um, how he was created we've got our purple and that allows us to go invisible let's play it when there are very few purple tiles available to be matched I think this is a good time play bl uh, blind spot creates one single invisibility tile on the board and Magneto could luckily override that with his cat with his uh, protect tiles good thing he didn't all right, so how are we going to get an extra move here to try to take this guy out without relying on match damage alone? We could play one of our team-ups, and that would generate the special tiles from Professor X if you do that. So if you come into this match and have a little trouble, you can plan on having that get you through it. Uh, Magneto has his blue since we're invisible. It won't do any damage, um, but it will shuffle tiles around the board. Let me think here. There's a lot going on with that yellow. I might leave that to see if he does something cool 
for us, like leave us with an extra move in yellow maybe after all this. Not quite the way I was hoping. What are we going to do to win here? Okay. I think we're going to have to just get lucky with a tile lineup. Polarizing Force is a really good utility power. That will hit us for the team damage. Well, so I was hoping to find a lucky way to get an extra move here. I don't really see that we're going to get that um, anytime soon. Of course, it could happen as a surprise throughout the match. But uh, since he hit us with the team up, I think it would be funny. We randomly have the same um, uh, character. He hit us with an Iceman Green. We have five-star Iceman Green. So let's go ahead and play ours. And being that an ally played an ability, there we go. Professor X will create special tiles. So a strike, attack, and protect tile, one of each. Now that those are on the board, any match that Professor X makes on your team, he has to tank that color with his icon on that color. Um, he will then increase the value of those special tiles. Right now they're pretty normal, but I'll check this out. Let's get a uh, two-move combo right here with black and purple. I got a triple-move combo. They're strengthened for each of the matches that we made Check this out. Now the 1564 in strikes, uh, just a ton of attack and projectile strength. Let's go for another match here. I think this is going to do it. Tile strengthened and the attack tiles get the win. All right. I was hoping to win with the uh, big head damage passive, but I think we're going to play Professor X again in a battle coming up here. And so let's move on. I do like that the de that developers have listened and they've made uh, events or premieres or um, features like this. So you can replay those notes. You can take him on with a different different character. You can replay over and over. There's no further rewards as you pl if you played it again, but it's cool that you can test different combos. Okay, so let's step up the um, matches here. We have to take on Juggernaut, the four-star version, and Phoenix, the five-star. This is taking form. You can read the story here on your own. What we have to play this team with is a level 550 onslaught. Guys, that's not just a champion. That's a maximum five-star champ. A hundred levels above where they're champed at 450 is crazy. Now, we could play the one that I just leveled up at 350, but let's go for it. Um, he's level 300, but leveled up to 350. This one at 550 is actually 500 and boosted the 50 levels. Okay, so let's see if we can win solo in this match. Now, of course, we have 150-some thousand health. That's crazy. Uh, we have an extra move on the board, and it's in purple. This is tremendous because of our passive ability... I think a lot of you guys have checked this out, but read through his green, know his name is just awesome. You get damage for, when you get an extra move, or actually at higher levels, a match four and or higher, he will destroy all team up tiles on the board and you get damage for each team up that's destroyed. Very uh, similar thread or design there to the, the uh, Magneto red ability that we just saw. And purple is another ability, so the fact that we get this purple to set it off is great. Let's have that hit Juggernaut. Watch this. Eliminated Juggernaut on turn one due to that extra move. That is crazy. All right, so we have our purple. purple. Let's play Astral Projection. It's an invisibility power that you stay invisible for unlimited number of turns while there are the traps remain unmatched on the board okay so what I want to do is um, see how long it takes for those traps to get matched Gene uh, 
Phoenix is very likely to hit one of those purple ones over there. So we'll see. Doesn't matter. We get the win. His match damage is just too strong. Wow. So we'll play uh, much lower levels than that going forward. Maybe we'll get a little more fun out of it. Match number three is uh, the Devastating Truth Revealed. And we're against just three characters, level 150, not a big deal. We have to play Onslaught and a version of Professor X. So instead of our five star, let's keep the four star here. And um, now we can play a 350 Onslaught that they let us go with, or um, oh, a 250 that they provide, or the 350 that's mine. Just so you know, the one that they give you is 13 covers, it's just a lower level. So we'll go with theirs again. I'll always probably take on the lieutenant first. He's got a healing ability for the team. I don't want him healing them much, so we'll go for the knockout with him. How do we set up a mat? Good thing we went with the, the version they provide because on simple match four, you'll qualify for his passive green. There we go. Damage for each of those tiles destroyed. And now let's see if we can get, let's try to win as fast as possible here. We'll go for purple. We'll try to play our purple ability and match trap away if we can. Yellow drops purple. Really nice set of cascades there. Oh man, we need one more purple. Well, let's see. How do we do it? I don't think we have an easy way to get the match now. I don't see a lineup. That black over there gets us closer, but not quite. There's a purple match. There we go. Astral projection again, three trap tiles on random colors. You don't get to choose what color they're going to be. And we can stay invisible as long as we want, but I, in this case, I don't think there's much reason to. We'll go ahead and match that trap tile and the traps, all the traps are disarmed, but he creates a an attack tile that's actually really quite strong and uh, 622. That'll help us win a little more quickly match four passive damage and here's another thing we have our blue ready to play and this is an interesting ability so i really like this idea a lot psychic blast basically says choose a tile and in that tiles row and column it will deal a certain amount of damage for each enemy special tile in that row and column uh, on the board so it's about 15 tiles you have to choose from overall and you want to pick a tile that kind of is the intersection point where you have some enemy special tiles or a, a, a tactical location that changes the enemy's strongest color to the enemy's weakest color. In this case, it would change yellow to purple. So if you look at the board, um, if we changed these, this row, uh, this column of yellow to purple, we would instantly qualify for a match four. Or if we chose this tile here, it would um, do damage for the countdowns because they qualify, they count as enemy special tiles. You get damage for those uh, countdowns in that, um, in that row and column. So let's do this. Let's pick this spot right here. It will deal damage for the two countdowns on the row and column that are, uh, that are on, on that, uh, that, those two lines and then convert yellow to purple for some free matches very cool animation there and we did we did get a match four to win this thing pretty cool abilities i don't think the abilities do quite enough damage but i'm hoping that the uh, tactical usage uses that you get out of the abilities really helps a lot 
So you get five shards from Onslaught if you're able to win the next match, and then another 10 for a total of 15. I think we could have maybe gotten 50 total shards out of this event, but uh, I'll take whatever it is and um, just make suggestions as we go here. So this match is a Onslaught enemy to all. It is a wave node. There are three different waves. I think it starts with four enemies in the first wave. I'm not sure how many enemies per wave. They're only level 100, but you only get to play Onslaught in this match. So we'll go ahead and play the 450 level here. 73,000 health. Let's blast through it and see how quickly we can beat. Starting with some Avengers, and then I think we'll take on some X-Men after this. So we want to go for match fours match fives obviously and then probably try to build up purple and blue we'll take this purple see if they set us up with anything here i think i'll target maybe i didn't need to target cap first i think maybe iron man might have been a little more dangerous we'll see um black black and green and anything else nope Oh man, there's really nearly a way to set off a match four. Yeah, we got it. There's There it is with the white at the bottom. So we'll take Cap out with the team up match and it'll drop these black tiles perfectly into a match four. Oh look, Black Widow shows up just at the wrong time. She is out immediately. Very cool. All right extra move in red wow there's not a lot of that's the whole point here there's not a lot of team up tiles remaining on the board after the previous match four plus that we got but we get the damage we get the critical tile another one with only a few look at that another extra move though so cascades are really going to to be a, a potential every time you get uh, the team ups removed that is going to be something that could happen quite a bit and now there are um, there's a match four on the board in two different ways purple's probably the best way but check this out we have our blue ready to play and there's no enemy specials on the board we probably need to target thing here they're not yeah they're gonna play they are gonna play invisible woman's invisibility so let's go ahead with astral projection maybe we'll get lucky with a trap match here soon we'll do this one she'll send an ally invisible good it wasn't thing we can take him out and what do we want to do here let's just take him out we got lucky that they took out the Protectile, and now we need to consider our abilities here. So Psychic Blast will change red to purple and then deal damage for special tiles. I do believe a invisibility tile will um, count in that in that regard. So let me think. Red to purple. Let's do this. This will be kind of fun. If we choose um, those two or two in both invisible, man, maybe we better wait. Um, yeah, we better wait. Invisibility has now worn off of Mr. Fantastic, so that might have been a good move. Yep, I think this is a good move. Let's move over to Mr. F, and here, this is a this is, might be a perfect spot for Psychic Blast. You see, it'll convert red to purple, and if we convert these three reds in a column to purple we'll get an extra move and we'll get damage for the invisibility tile he's out extra move get the damage okay so everything's rolling pretty well except for that invisibility tile um she has an you want to look at the enemy AP because she has enough to play it again. So let's be careful here. Let's let her play it again and kind of see where it goes. Maybe it'll be matchable. Mm, 
not ideal at all. So at this point, if we get enough blue, it'll convert yellow to purple still. Um, that might work out really well. Gonna be tough now. Probably should have taken her out first, but Thing really protects her. Look at that. She does a does a match four that uh, takes out her own two invisibility tiles. We'll take out this one, and before she can get invisible again, we will play Psychic Blast, converting yellow to purple, and not a lot to do here should we yeah we just have to do it yellow to purple we'll do this tile this row and column here or maybe we'll do it there there we go we intersect all three special tiles on the board should get a lot of damage out of that and she's out third wave is in <laughs> and we have to target deadpool now um I don't think you want to play Astral Projection twice because if you play it once, you remove your traps, you get your attack tile, then you can play it again. Of course, you lose your invisibility in between. Patch is out. And we were overpowered compared to this team, but Optic Blast will sting. Uh, we missed a chance for a match four, but Cyclops, oh, I thought we had another turn while he was stunned. We get another extra move. No team-ups on the entire board. Got the win, got a really nice cascade there. And victory. Okay, so we have one last battle in this uh, longer video here. A couple nice rewards if you need ISO. Got the shards with 10 shards coming up next. Our last battle in introducing Onslaught is taking him on. He's a level 380, and we have to use uh, X Men from our team, and we could use five stars. He's going to have about 40-some thousand health. Let's try to win with four stars. So we've got a nice team here. This is actually who I would have chosen. Let's go in and see if we can win with this team. I really actually do like this team in general. Sometimes um, we play bosses with them. And what do we want to do? Probably try to get Professor X invisible as quickly as possible. We don't want him to get a lot of match for us. <laughs> and really need to make sure we keep purple away from him that'll be a very dangerous if he goes invisible all right so we can do man what do we do i probably if I do this blue, we'll get a match for in yellow, but then will that set him up for an extra move in purple? I think it'll set him up for a match for at least. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Gonna take out my Professor X. Nope. No special tiles on the board yet. There we go. We're going to um, set him invisible. Now we can play Uncanny Strategist from Cyclops. Every time we play an ally ability, we'll get three special tiles on the board. Cyclops has his blue ready to go. Let's go ahead and play that right about here. We'll pick up that green tile and surrounding red in a 5x5 five five block. Should get a bunch of matches here. Oh, we lost. I didn't have that calculated out. I didn't think we were going to lose that countdown, but that's okay. Extra move in black. 
finally got the big head passive from Professor X. Very cool. Matches strengthened our special tiles quite a bit. And we can try to build up 10 team up. I don't think it's worth it, but if you do build up team up, it's going to be difficult if he gets matches match fours against us since it removes team up but that makes combined forces from cyclops more uh much more uh, damaging and you can select a row to destroy we're going to win here let's take this extra move another big head and professor x gets the win before we could take him out with cyclops what a victory there that's a way to go down and take the new onslaught out. We get the 10 shards, that'll add in nicely toward building up a free cover. And that's gonna do it for today, guys. Uh, once again, I wanna thank the developers for giving us a chance to have the uh, shards, the, the covers for onslaught to test him out. Really looking forward to playing him in the versus event, Great Minds. We will uh, be taking on our boosted onslaught in this match. And you, as you see, boosted up with those three covers, he's got 55,900 health at just one level in each power. Can't wait to get into that. That'll be the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Hit that video below. Bye.